Yo, what's good, y'all? It's the trail, and not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty excited today because New Mobile actually just sent me out their newest smartphone, the New Mobile X6. It's a hundred dollar phone and actually looks pretty enticing. So, we got this, and we got a whole bunch of other new mobile swag and all that stuff. So, shout out to New Mobile for actually sending me all this because I've actually been wanting to work with them for a while now. And look at this, now we're here, man. So, yeah, we're gonna go and check out everything that's inside this box. So, let's go and get into it. So yeah, like I said, as you can see here, they sent me out a bunch of stuff. They didn't just send me out their phone. They sent me a bunch of new mobile swag, like I'll show you that in a second. But if you're here from my channel, you probably don't know about new mobile. But at the same time, if you already know about new mobile, I wouldn't really be that surprised. Basically, who new mobile is, is a company that sells a bunch of affordable products. And I definitely been wanting to get more into budget phones and that type of stuff. So I'm glad I'm here now. And I definitely don't want to end this video without giving credit to two YouTubers, Stefan from TechRight and Kevin Breeze. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I don't think I would be here today. I don't think we would be here today. And I don't think I really would have found out about new mobile. And I'm glad I did. So let's check out what they got in the box for us. So first, obviously, they got their new mobile X6. We get this metal new mobile water bottle with a carabiner clip on it, which TechRight was actually telling me how he used is this water bottle all the time so i'm about to go and check this thing out we got a new mobile lanyard which i'm gonna be honest i don't really use lanyards so we're gonna have to see if i end up using this thing we got a new mobile pop socket here for our g6 we got this nice little new mobile notebook with a bookmark in here and we got our new mobile pen so that's pretty much how we got in the box right there but i want to go and clarify something so this isn't going to be in the retail version with your new mobile X6. So as far as I know, this is only for like the YouTubers and everything that's unboxing a new mobile X6. So this is pretty much all you're really going to be getting. But should I go and give away some of these things? Let me know in the comments below. So basically with this sheet that they gave me is basically telling me that this is their newest device, the new mobile X6. They included a spec sheet in the box as well. The X6 is retailing for $99.99 on new mobile's website. So yeah, that's actually pretty cheap. So we're going to have to go and see what's going on with this. And it's on Amazon too, but it's actually a sale right now for $89.99. Every retail device includes a sim with 5 gigs of data per month for 3 months from Mint Mobile, so that's actually pretty nice. Like, I'm really liking that. The X6 has Android 9 Pie, but will be updated to 10 within the first quarter of the year, so I'm excited for that one. And it's a GSM unlocked device, so it's not compatible with Verizon, but you can go ahead and use it on T-Mobile, AT&T, or Sprint, or whatever you use. You just can't use it on Verizon. Alright, let's finally get into this phone right here. So we got the new mobile X6. Like I said, it's retailing for 90 bucks, but it's actually on sale for 80 bucks right now at the time of recording this video. But I don't know, I'm just being real right now. Like just seeing the screen right here, just how much little bezel there is right here. You can see there's a little bit of a chin at the bottom. That's just kind of enticing by itself. So at the front, we got the new mobile logo with the X6 and the phone right here. On the left side, we got some of the specs right here. So we got 3 gigs of RAM with 32 gigs of ROM, which basically says that we got 32 two gigs of space we're gonna have to see how much space we get out the box but we got a dual camera and a 2800 million power battery and on the back we just got a lot of my info here like the imei and the serial number and all that stuff and then we got the specifications but i'll get into that once we get to the phone but yeah i mean besides that on the top and the right side and the bottom there's not really anything so let's go and get to this let me grab my unboxing knife <sighs> Let's do this. So it's actually covered in this plastic wrapping right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. But basically we just slide it out the box this way and then we got a simple new mobile logo right here. So we just take it out and then we got the phone. So we just got the specs and everything here on the screen protector again, but I'll get into that in a minute. So let's look what's inside the rest of the box. So first up, we have our Mint Mobile SIM here. So it actually looks like we get five gigs per month of 4G LTE data out the box. So that's actually pretty nice. We get three months of free service. We got our getting started guide, but you already know what we're doing with this. We're throwing it to the side. Questions, concerns, that type of stuff, throw it to the side. We got a new mobile sticker. We got this TPU transparent case here, which I'm actually liking that it comes in a box. I'm not really really sure if I'm feeling like this brownish look but you know what it is what it is it's free okay we got a plastic screen protector which by the way it already comes with one already installed on the box so that's actually pretty nice I don't gotta worry about installing it and in the rest of the box we get the battery and they actually sell their new mobile batteries on their website so you can go ahead and get a new one and swap it out when your phone dies and all that good stuff you already know how it works there's not one for the x6 right now but I'm pretty sure there'll be one in the future we got our standard wall brick here, which is not a fast charger. And then we got our micro USB cable, which, yeah. By the way, that's actually pretty disappointing, by the way, that it actually has micro USB and not USB Type-C. 
you know we're in 2020 and i really expected to have usb type c maybe it's more costly or whatever but still i just don't really like that but yeah anyways we got our phone right here so we just pretty much got the specs right here so we got a 5.7 inch 19 by 9 hd so 720p 15 20 by 720p display we got a mediatek 2.0 gigahertz quad core processor 4g lte 3 gigs of ram 32 gigs of rom or 32 gigs of storage this thing actually has a dual camera setup like i mentioned already so we got to go ahead and see if that second camera is actually an ultra wide or a two time zoom so on the rear we have a 13 megapixel main lens and a 0.3 megapixel secondary lens we got five megapixels on the front and then we have a 2800 million power battery so taking off that screen protector like i said you can already see that there's already one installed I'm gonna go and leave that on, but you can see right here that we have a teardrop notch with that 5 megapixel selfie camera and the earpiece speaker. We got a chin here at the bottom. On the right side, we have our power button and our two volume rockers. On the back, we got our dual cameras, our flash, our fingerprint scanner, which, yeah, that's actually pretty nice, and our new logo. Already, I can see that this plastic back leaves a lot of fingerprints, but you can just go ahead and clean it up and put a case on it if you want to, that case that comes with it. On the left side, we don't have anything. On the top, we got a headphone jack that's becoming rare, but I guess that makes sense on a cheap phone like this. And at the bottom, we have our microphone, we have our speaker, and then we got our micro USB port. Oh, that hurts. But we can go ahead and take off this back cover right here and go ahead and put in the battery. So it's actually pretty nice that this thing has dual SIM and a micro SD card slot. So you can just go ahead and put in your Mint Mobile SIM and your T-Mobile SIM for like work and play and all that. However you set it up, that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my battery and we can go ahead and boot this thing up and set this thing up. So let's go ahead and turn this on for the first time. And then we got a vibration with this new logo powered by Android. We got a new mobile animation right here. And there's our setup. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this and then I'll get back with y'all. All right, so we're done with the setup. I went ahead and put in my fingerprint, my email, all that good stuff. You already saw that. When I was typing on it, I could feel like a pretty cheap vibration motor, but like I honestly didn't really expect that much for a hundred dollar phone. Okay. But yeah, so this is the new Mobile X6. So let's go ahead and see how much space we get right out the box. So if you look at that, it looks like we actually got 25 gigs right out the box. But overall, it's looking like a decent phone offering so far. Don't really see any bloatware on here, which that's pretty good. I pretty much only see like the regular Google apps on here. I don't see one new mobile app. I see like wireless emergency stuff like so when there's an emergency alert or Amber alert or anything like that. We got the FM radio so you can go ahead and plug in your headphones to listen to your local radio. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I got for y'all today for the new Mobile X6. I'm going to definitely go ahead and check out what's going on with this Mint Mobile SIM. I'm like definitely curious about that. I've been interested in Mint Mobile for a little bit now, especially since Taylosif Tech just switched to Mint Mobile from Verizon because, you know, Verizon likes to hike up their prices and all that. But that's pretty much all I got for y'all. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But we're going to go ahead and try out some camera samples real quick. So a quick little video test with the 1080p camera right now. It's kind of windy right now. We got some snow right here because, you know, Wisconsin. Now you got me. So what y'all think about this camera? Just a quick little sneak peek right there. But I'll go ahead and get into this more into another video. But besides that, though, like really the only thing left that I want to cover real quick is the fingerprint scanner. So the fingerprint scanner is actually pretty good on this thing. Like I'm really liking the fingerprint scanner. Had to get my trusty little broken mirror right here. But let's go and try this out. So yeah, that's pretty quick. It works 100% of the time for me, really, and I haven't had any issues yet. So we're going to have to go and see what's going on with this when I play around with it some more. But yeah, y'all, so thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. And again, shout out to New Mobile for actually sending this out to me. I appreciate y'all again. And yeah, peace out.